Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Max Ewe and Akiba Rubenstein. This game was played in Hague in 1921. The player with the white pieces in this game, Max Ewe, was the fifth world champion. He wrote over 70 chess books, including The Road to Chess Mastery, Judgment and Planning in Chess, the logical approach to chess and strategy and tactics in chess play, just to name a few. Max Ewe had white pieces and he started with e4. Akiba Rubenstein played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, black to move. d6 is the most played move, preventing e5 by white. Rubenstein played knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4 and allowing white to play e5 and this is what happened e5 knight to d5 d4 c takes on d4 queen takes on d4 e6 c4 knight to c6 attacking the queen queen to d1 knight from d to e7 white has a space advantage Bishop to d2, intending bishop to c3. Let's take it back. There was a game like this. Bishop to e2 was played and then black continued with knight to g6. Castling, knight on g, captured on e5, knight takes on e5, knight takes on e5. Black is a pawn up, but behind in the development. Back to our game. Max overplayed bishop to d2. Knight to g6, queen to e2. Queen to c7, bishop to c3, b6, h4, intending h5, gaining more space on the board. d6, e takes on d6, bishop takes on d6, knight from b to d2, knight to f4 attacking the queen, queen to e3, bishop to c5, queen to e4, f5, aggressive play by Akiba Rubenstein. Queen to c2, and Rubenstein cast at king's side. g3. If white cast at queen's side, then bishop takes on f2. We have g3, attacking the knight. Knight to g6, h5, knight from g to e5, knight takes on e5, knight takes on e5. White to move. Perhaps bishop to g2 should have been considered. b4 was played, attacking the bishop. What is the best pair for the bishop? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Perhaps some players would play bishop to d6, bishop to e7. What do you think? That was a big surprise. Are you ready to see the move? Kaboom! Thunder from a clear sky. Check. Is this a sound sacrifice? Let's see. King takes bishop. Knight to g4 check. King to e2. Black to move. Rubenstein captured the pawn on g3. Bishop to b7 is also a good move. But then white would play rook to h3 and defend the pawn. So, Rubenstein played queen takes on g3. A bird in hand is worth two in a bush. For a sacrificed piece, black has two pawns, and the white king looks like a sitting duck, maybe. There is lots of white pieces that can defend the white king. What do you think? Oh, and one more thing. White's space advantage disappeared. The game continued. Bishop to d4. Bishop to b7, attacking the rook, rook to h3, attacking the queen, queen to d6, queen to c3, threatening, bishop takes on g7. How would you defend the pawn on g7? Rubenstein played e5, bishop to g1, f4, c5, queen to h6, king to e1, e4. Rook to h4 attacking the knight, queen to g5 defending and attacking, queen to h3 
also defending and attacking. Knight to e3, removing the target. Daring white to take on e3. And this is what happened. Bishop takes on e3. F takes on e3, attacking the knight. Bishop to c4, check. If knight to c4, then queen to f6 is very strong for black. We have bishop to c4, check. King to h8. Knight to f1, intending knight takes pawn on e3, maybe. Black to move. How would you defend the pawn? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Black, play the move. And white resigned, and the move is queen to f6. Max over resigned. If rook to c1, saving the rook. Then queen to f2, check. And after king to d1, rook from a to d8, check. Winning quickly. And let's go back. How about queen takes on e3, preventing checkmate. But then black takes the rook with check. And after king to d2, queen to b2, check. King to e1, queen to b1, check. After king to e2, rook takes on f1. Black is threatening checkmate on d1. After queen to d2, e3. And black is winning very quickly. If queen takes on e3, queen to d1, check. Mate. What a brilliant game by Akiva Rubenstein. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.